Good afternoon. Welcome to Journeyman Distillery. Grant Griffendorf here, um, national brand ambassador for the company with our uh, production manager, Tom Balich. We're here in the original Journeyman bar. Uh, the space was opened back in 2011 by Bill and Joanna Welter. Here in Three Oaks, we have a full service restaurant called The Staymaker. Uh, we have multiple event spaces, Warren Hall, the Granary, um, and the Still Room. And we also have a 30,000 square foot putting green that was influenced by Bill Welter himself. Yeah, and Bill has a very unique history. Uh, he actually is a big golfer growing up from Northwest Indiana originally. Uh, went to went to Missouri State for golf and then decided to move to Scotland after he graduated to explore the game a little more. And that's where he kind of fell in love with whiskey and got his first foray into that. Uh, I met a guy there named Greg Ramsey who was uh, opening a golf course in Tasmania. Greg also ended up opening a distillery down there. And so when Bill came back, worked at his family business for a while, and it, it, when then it, it eventually sold, he decided, you know what, I wanna get into this whiskey thing. He went down to Tasmania, worked with Greg and at a few other distilleries for a while, and then came back uh, and said, I'm gonna do this thing. So in 2009, he started looking for a space, uh, settled right here in Three Oaks at the old Featherbone factory, and the rest is history. And we've been cruising here for almost 11 years now, uh, and we'll be opening a new location in Valparaiso, Indiana in the fall of 2023 as well. So very exciting. Absolutely, we're very excited about all the expansions happening for Journeyman Distillery. Um, we've also progressed into 35 different states with our distribution for our spirits and uh, hopefully soon we're nationwide as well. So keep your eyes peeled for our products on your liquor store shelves near you. Today we're going to talk to you guys about our gin here at Journeyman Distillery. We actually make an amazing gimlet here um, using our Bilberry Black Hearts gin. Um, Sir Thomas Gimlet, actually historians say, um, created the gimlet back in the 1800s as a tool um, for his Navy members um, to combat scurvy because a little bit of lime juice and a little bit of alcohol supposedly was medicinal in that effect. Um, our gin is infused with nine different botanicals, the bilberry being one of the predominant botanicals, which is a relative to the blueberry and the huckleberry. Um, of course, there's some juniper berry in there, which gives it a little bit of its pininess. Lots of lemon, lots of citrus, so it has a nice fruity side to it. We do also have a couple other expressions of gin, um, a bilberry black hearts gin that is rested in uh, bourbon barrels for a short period of time, and then a field gin as well, part of our field collection. And I'll let Tom tell you guys all about them. Yeah, so gin uh, gin is a, it's a very old and classic spirit. Uh, and like Grant kind of mentioned, started as a medicinal thing. Uh, and so with the bilberry black hearts gin, we take our wheat-based vodka, and then we macerate all of those botanicals so the the bilberry the juniper everything crush it up soak it in that spirit for about 15 hours and then we redistill it and that brings through all of those botanical flavors and one interesting thing about distilling it is during distillation depending on the temperature and how much time's gone by you can taste each of those botanicals kind of se separately and it's yeah it's really tasty the bilberry is a very unique a botanical to use. I don't know many other uh, gins that use it. Um, and yeah, like you said, it's a cousin of blueberry huckleberry indigenous to Northern Europe, and it's actually a medicinal fruit as well. So it's said to improve your eyesight. Um, in, in, in World War II, pilots, British pilots would eat it to just keep their eyesight sharp. So it might improve your eyesight, guys. Can't say it doesn't. <laughs> um, and then we do have the barrel age version, which is one of my favorite, uh, most underrated products here. And that's this brown one. You can tell that it's barrel aged because of the color. And so we take this gin just as it is, throw it into a uh, new 15 gallon barrels and age it for about nine months. So it's almost like a whiskey gin combo. And it starts to take the character of the barrel really well and completely changes the flavor. Uh, almost uh, re really reminds me of like Christmas spices and Christmas time when you drink it neat. Clothes, yeah, 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 cinnamon, all things like that. And it's really, really great. I like it on the rocks, but you could also do some great cocktails with that one as well. And then we have our field gin here, which is a collaboration with the Field Museum in Chicago. Uh, when they were uh, tr trying to commemorate the 1893 World's Fair, they said, hey, let's do a spirits line with you guys we said we're all about it and so one of their main focuses was to keep uh, all the ingredients the things that were featured at the world's fair back then so this one has 27 different botanicals in it where the bilberry had nine uh, so i can't i don't have all those memorized but there are a lot of us uh, a lot of citrus fruits a lot of tropical fruits yeah. so this is a lot brighter a little more citrusy a little more fruit forward than the bilberry so if you're if you like that you, you might want to go for the field gin both are really great uh, and great in cocktails as well so they, they really are very versatile that's the one great thing about gins. Yeah, absolutely. With our craft premium spirits, you can build them into your favorite craft cocktails. Um, today, we're actually going to make a lavender gimlet for you guys, where we infuse our own gin with some lavender, throw in a little lime juice, a little grapefruit juice, and mix it all together for you. All right. 
Uh, Tom Bodge from Journeyman here with Grant, and we're gonna walk you through our Lavender Gimlet Cocktail. So this is one of our most popular cocktails here at the distillery. Uh, so it would be great for everybody to try at home. Grant, why don't you walk us through the steps here and what we need to do to make this? Yeah, absolutely. So first and foremost, we've got our coupe glass, we've got our ice shaker, we've got our Japanese jigger, and we've got our strainer. A little bit about the gimlet first and foremost. Um, the gimlet was introduced in the 1800s to the Royal Navy by Sir Thomas Gimlet. Um, so let's get into building this cocktail. So we're gonna start with our Bilberry Black Hearts Gin. Um, we did a lavender infusion, uh, two days of dried lavender buds soaking in our gin, which gives it that floral essence. So two ounces would be a single serving recipe. We'll do four, cause there's two of us up here today. Beautiful. And I think one thing with, with our Bilberry Black Hearts Gin, uh, when we were first developing it, I know our owner Bill wanted to do lavender as part of it. And, and we never got that part right. And we really didn't, we liked it better without it. Uh, and so, so now this is kind of the spin of adding that lavender and doing a special cocktail. I think lavender is great with the gin infusion. There's already some citrusy floral flavor notes coming out of our gin and that lavender really helps um, exasperate all of it. I just added an ounce of our lemon, or actually an ounce of our lime juice. We will add an ounce of our simple syrup. And so what, what is simple syrup, Grant? Why don't well, you... that's a good question, Tom. It's simple and it's syrup. Oh, exactly. It's no. Well, it's, they call it simple syrup because it's so easy to make. You just use one cup of sugar, one cup of water, um, bring it to a boil on the stove, let it simmer and thicken up, um, let it cool, and you can use that when you're building all your cocktails at home. We will also throw in an ounce of our grapefruit juice. Once you have all your ingredients ready to go, let's throw some ice on it. Shake it up, right? Give it a good shake. Love it. About 20 seconds, a nice hard shake. Make this cocktail nice and light and frothy. Do your arms ever get tired? No, Tom, them? I work out on the regular. Oh, you wow. Can tell. Yeah. I, I can tell, I can tell. Yeah. Do some behind the head. <laughs> wow. To the side, to the side. <laughs> cocktail shaking was invented to make the bartender look cool, obviously. Let's see what we've got here. little pink hue from the grapefruit juice. I can already smell the gin though. Those ice crystals on, on top are also um, an ingredient of shaking the cocktail, which gives it a nice little texture. Tom? Cheers. Cheers. So our uh, lavender infused gimlet here is made with our Bilberry Black Hearts gin, which is a wheat based gin with nine different botanicals, right Tom? Yeah, nine, nine different botanicals. Now, that's really great. Um, but yeah, we, we use nine different botanicals and it helps kind of balance out that juniper flavor. So a lot of people, uh, I don't know if you have experience with it, but a lot of people when I taste gin with them, they, they don't even want to try it because they're like, oh, you know, I, I had a bad experience when I was younger. And, and a lot of the times they like stole their parents' gin or something and it was a London dry, so very juniper forward. Yeah. And so that piney taste gave them a bad experience. And so most of the London dry gins, very juniper forward and maybe one or two other botanicals, but we have nine different botanicals in here and they're all in there to help balance out the juniper. To be a gin, you have to have the juniper, uh, but we also have the bilberry, the lemon peel, bitter orange peel, coriander, orris root, angelica root, cinnamon, uh, and anise. And all those things help balance out that juniper flavor. So this is, would be known as a new or American style gin and it's much more approachable. And I, I, I tell everybody, give it a chance. And they're like, oh man, now I like gin. You know, I'm a gin person now. And so it, it is a really versatile, versatile spirit and really great in this cocktail. I always tell people gin is uh, the world's first flavored vodka. So cheers. Cheers, thanks for joining us guys. Hope you guys enjoy this at home and hope we've made some new gin fans. Yeah, there. absolutely, thank you. Thanks.